Right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to finally fix my big shaft. Right, so there we have one nice clean shaft. Now we've got plenty of plunge, that means your mum will be happy. So long story short, this shaft is too long and the inner CV tripod is bottoming out in the inner CV cup and that's what's causing the horrendous vibration on right hand corners. Uh, but since putting the engine, the new engine back in, we have finally remembered to fit the flywheel cover plate, this piece just here, and that adds a couple of millimetres to the depth of the gearbox. So. I'm just going to fit this back on the car before we start modifying it and just check our plunge depth again because so we've got a sneak suspicion we've got no movement in this now and that will confirm the issues with the shaft so back on, check the plunge depth and we'll go from there Right then, that's confirmed that. So now we've put this plate back in to protect the flywheel. There is bugger all movement in that shaft, not even on the circlip retention groove, which this side we've still got. So I think that's definitely the problem. So we'll uh, start modifying my shaft. Close enough. And there should be a nice snug fit in there, so we're not too far off. Uh, but we're going to try and sleeve as much as possible, so hopefully it's going to stay as straight as possible. So what we'll do now is we'll strip the whole shaft down, um, right down to the bare shaft. Take the CVs off, clean it all up, cut it. We'll take about 10 mil off it, then weld it all back together with a TIG. Yeah, there's even more evidence you can see in the bottom of the cup there where it started to wear like a little dimple and there's a bit of evidence there for where it's been rubbing nice right and there we have one nice clean shaft so the first thing that you'll notice that with these satchels shafts is that you'll see that splines alternate so you have one short spline one long spline one short spline one long spline and that's to alleviate any weak points in the cv because if all of these splines ended at the same depth then that would be a weak point so by alternating the splines it theoretically gives a stronger shaft but as you can see this side hopefully the camera picks it up you can see these little spots just here on the short splines and that is evidence that the CV tripod has been bottoming out on the spline so it just sort of further sort of solidifies that this is our vibration issue and we're finally going to fix it now unfortunately this is hardened steel so we can't use our bandsaw to cut this not about sacrificing two blades to do so so the only way we can cut it is by abrasive methods so I have to get out the old trusty and grinder for this one and I want to use as much of this joining tube as possible and um, so as you can see here we've got some telltale signs of where the CVs used to max out on so this here is really our usable length so we'll probably cut it about there and that gives us the more we can sleeve the more chance we've got of the shaft being straight um, and obviously less vibration so put it about there, chop this in half, take 10 mil off, and then we'll put the shafts back in there and then weld, weldy, 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 weldy.
and there we go and I'm pleased to report that the shaft is a very snug fit inside the tube in fact it's actually got a touch bit looser since I've cleaned up the edges on the uh, on the cleaning wheel so what we'll do now is we'll tack this together we'll put we'll clean and put the CVs back on get it back on the car make sure we're happy with the plunge depth and then if we're happy we'll disassemble and then we'll get it all welded up And there we go, we've got the shaft back fitted, and as you can see now, we've got plenty of plunge. So now we've got plenty of plunge, that means your mum will be happy. Uh, but it also means we'll take this off now, we'll get it welded up, get it back on, and then we can take it for a test drive. And there we go, one shortened shaft. So all we've got to do now is go over to the Micra and get it fitted. So a quick drive around the block and everything seems fine. Now we're not gonna know if shortening that drive shaft has fixed our vibration issue until next weekend. Uh, we've got a sprint event at Mallory Park Quick 60. Now I'm not sure if the layout is gonna allow us to load up that front passenger side wheel to see if we still have that horrific vibration. Hopefully we have fixed it and that is another mystery solved. So yeah, um, Thanks for watching, I hope that was insightful. Um, don't forget to smash that like button, drop a comment down below, subscribe, and don't forget to share it with your nan. Love you, bye.